send him down now. Chatting with his sister on Darwin. I thought he had one more day with us. He does, and he's already late. Whoa, whoa, get that, will you? There. Well, what was that knife? Kitchen knife. Nice. You gonna miss him? Ollie? Mm. There's always another F1. There's always another registrar. Heard you applied for the consultant post. Yep, put my form in this morning. Yeah, of course you did. Well, maybe I'll miss you. And maybe not. Can you bake? No. My wife can bake. Mm. Gee, she can bake a good pie. Mm. This is good. You sure you don't want some? No, thank you. Come on. You don't have to watch your figure with all that climbing. Excuse me? Rock climbing, right? Mm. Let's take a look. My extracurricular activities include rock climbing, bouldering. What the heck is bouldering? And this is my favorite. <clears throat> Whilst at university, I was president of the debating society. <laughs> that is brilliant. Jack Naylor and debating. It goes together like fish and ice cream. Is this going anywhere? Why are you being such a hard ass with Valentino? I'm not. Yes, you are. A couple weeks ago, you guys were getting along fine. Now you're biting his head off for being a few minutes late. He was needed in theatre. We had it down. But we could have needed him, and he wasn't there. Come on, Jack, lighten up. It's the guy's last day. Cut him some slack. You are never going to be a good leader if everyone is scared of you. Well, it works. He's got the highest results in his year, whether he likes me or not. And I don't have to buy him cake to earn his respect. Oh, and by the way, we were debating champions. I already know. Hey, is everything all right here? Fine. Valentino, got a minute? What were you and Dr. Valentine talking about earlier? When? When I was with the patient. That's none of your business. Of course it's my business. I'm his mentor. And I'm your boss. I can talk to whoever I want. But I did notice that you were still being a hard ass with him. Mm. And it's working. I'm happy with how he's doing now. Is he happy with how you're doing? What's that got to do with anything? Everything. If you're gunning for a position of leadership, I want to know the opinions of those you're leading. Including an F1. Jack, everyone's opinions at this hospital matter. Now, I know you say that you're a great leader, but what I want to know is what does the rest of your team think? So I gave him a form. What kind of form? Peer review. Can't wait to see how you score. Hey, why is Valentino prepping a barbecue in the wet room? I thought he could do with a little suture practice. So he says. You disapprove. You don't think it's a little above his pay grade? It's a standard procedure. For a registrar, he's an F1. A talented F1. <clears throat> All right, what point are you trying to prove? <clears throat> you were right. If I'm to be a good leader, maybe I need to show a little positive faith towards those under me. Here's me, what was it, um, cutting him a little slack. Yeah, just enough to hang himself. Well, only a couple of hours ago, you were asking me to relax my approach, so here's me doing that. All right, but if he screws this up, you're the one going to be hanging. I will bring it up in your interview. Fine. You want a debrief on this? What is it? Valentino's view. To be perfectly honest, I'm a little disappointed. How scathing is he? Hardly one bit. In fact, he pretty much aced you. Approachability, five. Attention to detail, five. Attitude on response, five. Hmm. You think that's fair? If it's in his form. Well, there is just uh, one problem, a neutrality issue. Unfortunately, his opinion is biased, so I can't put it forward as a character statement. Why? Yes. Mr. Spence, that is free for your five o'clock. Thank you. Well, you definitely wouldn't want her to see that. No wonder he gave you top marks. Enthusiasm, five. Overall communication, five. Commitment, five. <laughs> All right, Naylor, let's roll. Where's Dr. Valentine? Doesn't matter, I'm ready to go without him. At least stay until she wakes up. Let her know you were here. He said he'd be here by now. Well, don't worry. I'm not going to hold it against you. Dr. Sheriff, have you seen Dr. Valentine? No, I haven't. Do you want Ollie? It's on yeah. the stairs with his sister. Okay, there it is. 
small hole in the jejunum, left up a quadrant, which will require a seromuscular suture. You still want me to? Yes. Three O maximum, please. Okay. Yeah, that's the stay suture. Picking up the mucosa. BP's dropping slightly. I know you can do this, Ollie. Okay, give me one more try. We're too far apart. You'll leak bowel contents. Maybe you should do this, Miss Naylor. He's got a point, Jack. No. Ollie, you can do it. Give the guy a break. I'm trying to. I'm sorry. I just can't. It's all right. Maybe your mind's just elsewhere. I'm really sorry. 3 PDS, please. Don't worry, Jack. I'm not going to bring this up in your interview. Do what you want. 